Hello, my name is Igor and welcome to my tech farm. I'm currently on my workplace where uh, I have here the brand new Ender 3 V2, which uh, my department bought. And um, I would like to measure the temperatures. Temperatures of the stepper motors uh, inside the mainboard unit and inside the power supply box. And the reason I want to do this is because I noticed for the touch it is much hotter compared to the Prusa Mark 3S. And at home, uh, my Ender 3 V2 is highly upgraded. I'm usually using it uh, to print ABS, uh, ASA or similar material, which requires printing inside the enclosure. And uh, I noticed that uh, those stepper motors are quite hot. So I want to see if, uh, for example, if I place something uh, like this, this heat sink on the stepper motors will help or maybe I should find some different solution. Also, one important fact I noticed with the Ender 3 V2 is this. Uh, this is the fan which cools the main board and the stepper motor drivers. And uh, the shocking fact, which I figured out uh, a few weeks ago, that um, this is connected parallel with the part cooling fan on the, on the hot end. This means uh, with printing with PLA everything is fine, because usually that uh, fan is on a maximum. But if you want to print something like ABS inside the enclosure, uh, usually it's, you, uh, it's recommended to disable the part cooling or very minimal. This means uh, in that case, this fan will be disabled completely during complete printing inside the enclosure. So that's very shocking for me because I'm using it inside the enclosure mostly. And uh, one another thing I found out uh, that uh, the power supply has some ventilation holes which are covered by the plate on this uh, printer. Which is also very surprised. Uh, but uh, anyway, I will uh, measure the temperature as they are now. Maybe in a different video I will do some <laughs> safety upgrades on this printer first. The temperature I will measure with uh, LM35DZ temperature sensors. I will glue them with this Kepton tape. And since uh, I have uh, seven sensors, uh, I will use the Arduino Mega instead of Uno, because here I have uh, 16 analog inputs. On Uno, I have only six. This is a sensor on the extruder, and this is on X-axis. This is on Z-axis. On Y-axis. And this is uh, on the box of the mainboard. And the last one goes below on the power supply. And I have one last sensor here, uh, which is not used. Actually, it will record the environment temperature. Everything is prepared for printing. And uh, I have very similar temperatures from all six sensors. So I can start printing and uh, collecting the data. It will be approximately one and a half hours printing. It's a cable holder, there for better cable management on this Sender 3 v 2 And uh, so far uh, I'm collecting the data every 10 seconds and I can see that T2 has the highest temperature and uh, T2 is the Y-axis stepper motor. I am very curious about T1, that's the X-axis uh, stepper motor. If it's stabilized, let's see, in a half hours, in that case, I want to place this uh, heat sink here during the printing to see if it will have any effect to the temperature of the stepper motor. And now, after approximately 1 hour and 10 minutes, the temperature on X-axis stepper motor stabilized. It's around 41 degrees Celsius. It would be better to place the heat sink on Y-axis because it's uh, 47 uh, degrees Celsius. And, uh, but I don't have enough space there because of the knob. So I will install the heatsink on x-axis because I can easily access to it. This is 40 by 40 by 10 aluminium heatsink. And I'm curious if it will have any effect on the temperature of the stepper motor. The printing is finished in 1 hour and 15 minutes. And I will collect the data uh, maybe 10 more minutes to see how fast the stepper motors will cool down. And then I will analyze this in Excel table. Yeah. 
Let's analyze the results on the x-axis we have minutes, on y-axis the temperatures. And uh, I can see that approximately after one hour the temperature stabilized on uh, each sensor. The highest temperatures was the, on y-axis stepper motor, then on the z-axis stepper motor. Now on x-axis, here I placed the heat sink and it went down from uh, 41 to approximately 38.5 degrees Celsius. Not big difference, but I believe that if I would place it on y-axis, the effect would be much bigger. Uh, but I have to place some smaller knobs, uh, I don't have enough space there. And then we have the temperatures of the extruder, uh, mainboard unit, and this is the power supply unit, and the room temperature was approximately 24.5 degrees Celsius. And on this page you can see these main temperatures in Celsius and in Fahrenheit. And now I will repeat everything inside this uh, Creality enclosure. And uh, I will use some Printofix and uh, for the filament I will use uh, Isan ABS Plus. And I will print the same uh, cable holder because I need another one from my home and V2. All temperature sensors are on the same place, except this one. This will measure the temperature inside the enclosure. And I move the screen outside so I can manipulate it without opening the enclosure. And now no opening until the printing is finished. It will take some time until it heats up to 100 degrees Celsius, the bed surface. But I already started to collect the data because I'm very curious about the temperature inside the enclosure. There's the first layer looks okay and it sticks good to the print surface. And I'm printing on 240 degrees Celsius. The bed surface is 100 degrees Celsius and I'm using 12% cooling. And temperature inside the enclosure is uh, already 39 degrees Celsius. And now after a little bit more than one hour of printing, I can see that the temperature is almost stabilized. Not completely yet, but uh, the hottest are T2 and T3, almost 60 degrees Celsius. Those are steppers on Y and Z axis. And the T1, uh, that's the x-axis, it's 54, 55, I hope it's stabilized so because I want to use this heat sink on it, if I can place it somehow. And this is what I am worried about, the T4, the mainboard temperature, because, uh, don't forget, I left the part cooling to 12%. But if I would disable the part cooling, as usually I should do with the ABS printing, in that case, the mainboard fan would be disabled completely. I will open the top of the enclosure to keep the temperature <laughs> below 50 degrees Celsius because it may become uh, too hot for the steppers or for the mainboard. So one and a half hours printing, uh, maybe 20 minutes more. Temperature on X uh, stepper motor is approximately 55-56 degrees Celsius and I will try to place the heat sink uh, without opening the enclosure too much. It's there. I will just wait the end of the printing and then collect and analyze the data. And the printing is finished, the temperature inside the enclosure stabilized around 50 degrees Celsius. And perfectly straight object stands to printing inside the enclosure. Uh, I will not open the enclosure yet, I will collect the data maybe 10 more minutes to see the cooling of the steppers and the mainboard. And then I will analyze the results in the Excel table. Perfectly striped, absolutely no warping. And these are the temperatures inside the enclosure. And approximately after one and a half hours, the temperature stabilized. And the hottest were Y and Z axis, uh, over 61 degrees Celsius. Uh, the next one was the extruder and the mainboard units, around uh, 58 degrees Celsius. 
and then the x-axis stepper motor uh, it was uh, at 56 degrees celsius when i placed a heat sink on it and it reduced uh, uh, let's say two two and a half degrees celsius and then the power supply unit but don't forget it was measured outside and this is the temperature inside the enclosure basically for the abs you need approximately 45 degrees celsius inside the enclosure but don't forget don't open it when you start with the printing and on this page you can see the main temperatures in celsius and in fahrenheit and this is the difference compared to the printing without enclosure and before conclusions i would like to thanks to my patreon and buy me a coffee supporters because thanks to their donations i can create this kind of uh, videos because all donations i'm using for uh, different sensors and equipment uh, for this kind of videos about the temperatures uh, printing inside the enclosure will uh, significantly raise the temperatures of stepper or uh, power supply unit or the main board but i think it is below the critical temperature yet uh, unfortunately i couldn't measure the real temperature of the power supply unit because i measure it from outside uh, but i think some safety issue we have here because some ventilation holes are covered by the creality well we will see about that in the future uh, about the heat sink well uh, it reduced the temperature about uh, two or three degrees celsius but without a fan uh, that effect is not too big and if you plan to use the printer inside the enclosure printing abs consider rewiring the mainboard fan to be always on otherwise high temperature may destroy the mainboard and stepper motor drivers actually i was curious myself about this temperature so that's why i did this experiment and record this video i hope you will find that useful too if you have some other suggestions you know drop me a line in the comment section thank you for watching and happy printing